the latest release of Lightroom Classic has a brand new feature for editing exterior real estate photos so that you can take an image that looks like this and turn it into this. I'm gonna step through that in this episode so that you can see how this is done. To use this new feature, you wanna make sure that you have the latest version of Adobe Lightroom Classic. This was released in version 14.3. To use this new feature, we're going to detect architectural features that we can then adjust. So here we have a backlit house. It was exposed for the sky, but obviously the house is very dark, but yet some of the other architectural features, some of the landscape whatnot, isn't quite as dark as the house, so we'd like to control separate exposure. To do this, go over to your masking, and when you do, you'll see something new in this version of Adobe Lightroom Classic, and that's to select landscape. When you do, it will do some AI detection and it'll start gathering architectural features. In fact, in this case, it detected overall architecture. There's going to be some other detection that we'll also cover in another example. This is just a very basic one though. So with this selected, I could select the architecture and say create a new mask. Once that mask is selected, then I can change the exposure of it, I could bring up the shadows, whatever I needed to. But if we go back to this mask, we can see that it didn't catch everything. So what I'd wanna do is add here. Now it did a really good job of the edges, but here I'd wanna use a brush on the mask to fill that in as an add. I'd also wanna subtract a little bit of stuff up here. So I'll do a subtract brush, and then over here, I'll just subtract that out of there. Now I can do that for anything else that's here. If I didn't want this to be included in there, then I would take that out of the mask as well. But either way, I can then make all the adjustments that I want to whatever degree I want just for the detected architecture. Now it's time to take a look at the foliage. So once again with masking, we go to create a new mask, select landscape, and now it doesn't have to do its AI detection. It already did it. So this is already available to us to just say, let's select the vegetation. And it did a pretty good job, that's fine create a mask for that. And in this case, we don't wanna bring up the exposure as much as the house, just a little bit, and then maybe also a little bit of the shadows that are in there as well. Now we can also go back here and grab the ground, which is very bright. If we go to create new mask and select landscape once again, we'll see that one of the things that detected was artificial ground. So we click on artificial ground, create mask, and then with this then, I can then lower the exposure a little bit. Now that I've got this, which is looking really good compared to where we started, if we take a look, this is what we had originally, this is where we are now, then I would just do a final few adjustments. So here, for instance, I might crop this in a little bit and just change a few of the sliders up here. Let's just take the highlights down a little bit, up the shadows, up the whites, down the blacks, a little bit of clarity, a little bit of vibrance, a little bit of saturation. You can take a look at these sliders right here. That's what I would do for something like this. You can adjust this as you see fit, but now one of the problems that we have is we're going to have some noise. So if we zoom in here, we can see there's a lot of color noise, but that's not a problem because there's AID noise in Adobe Lightroom Classic. All that you need to do is scroll down here to the detail panel and you'd click Denoise. That'll then load the enhancement data. It'll bring up a dialog. And in this dialog, you just have to click enhance. You can see here we're selecting denoise. We'll do it at 90 and we'll just click enhance. Once that's done, a new DNG file is created with those adjustments and it's denoised. Now, if we zoom in to 100%, we can see that it's nice and smooth. That noise is taken care of, but it is still a really sharp image. Okay, now this worked very simply. It really wasn't a complex example, and we only saw a few of the features. Let's take a look at some more features and a more difficult example with this image. Now, this image, I did a traditional exposure blend, and that's what I delivered to the client. This here was 
three different shots. They were in a bracket, but they weren't HDR. They were exposure blended, just like I show in my course on exterior photography. And while I'm at it, I just wanted to take a quick break here and just mention that if you did want to learn more about real estate photography, then I'd invite you to take a look at my online courses for real estate photography, where I've got courses on professional interior photography, expert editing, exterior photography, videography for real estate, and business and marketing for real estate. And I've also written best-selling books on real estate photography. And I have links to all of this down in the description for this video. But what we want to do here is use this feature just on this single raw file. So what I would do is still take a look at those architectural features by going to our masking and then we'll select landscape. Now we're going to see some other benefits come out of this but also something that's gonna be a little different on how we're gonna be able to take care of some of these architectural features. Once it's done, it's AI detection. Notice that we've got more features here and one of them is water. So it detected the pool. So I could go here to water, I could create that mask, and then I could brighten it up a little bit with a little bit more whites, maybe a little bit more exposure. I could add a little bit of saturation or dehaze or whatever I wanted just to the pool. I could also do the same thing that I did before with any of this vegetation here. But the biggest problem I have with this image is that I've got this deep shadowed area. So exposure blending like I did traditionally took care of that and also kept the quality really high. We're not getting that ability though if we go to create mask and then select landscape, the architecture in this case only gathered the house. That's fine, yes, that is architecture, but I need to do more than that. So an easy way to do this then is we can just create a mask. We'll cancel this particular mask. We'll create then a new one, and that will be to select objects. This is a great way in Lightroom Classic to select shadowy areas. What I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna draw kind of like a circle around this shadowy area something like around here. And shadows just turn up very well in object detection, not just in Lightroom Classic, but also Photoshop. So once you draw your area around it, not through it, then let AI do its detection. And sure enough, it detected, look at this, we can see through those little slats right there on the patio. Missed a few spots here, but to do that then, you just add to that mask with a brush. So here then I can just brush in these extra areas that were missed, we won't worry about that. And anything else that you see, it's gonna vary on every single photo what all you want in there. Now with that, we can refine it further later if we want, but now we can just take and increase the exposure on this as much as we want and get something that looks pretty good. Now since it was the same image and we're not really exposure blending, we might have to change some of the color temperature here, but that's easy enough to do in this mask. We can also just warm that up a little bit so that that's starting to match more of the tile. We can take that exposure down, maybe just increase the shadows as well. You can see that by just using this feature, we're able to take a backlit house, for instance, and turn it into something that looks a lot better and also very natural. Just by using this new technique of detecting architectural features, just by using the new architectural features in landscape detection in Adobe Lightroom Classics masking.